Howdy, howdy, my name is Good Guy Mike. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to Aliens Isolation. Now this game better be better than fucking Colonial Marines or I'm gonna blow my, blow my gasket. I'm gonna blow my gas. Let's play game. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Alrighty, do I actually get to control something now? Haha! <laughs> okay, so, for those of you who do not know, Ripley, this game is based slightly after the original Aliens movie. Ooh! And we're playing as Amanda Ripley, a beautiful, gorgeous woman. Yeah, look at those legs! Those legs just keep going on forever. Ha! <laughs> I like this game already. Best game of the year. Anyways, we're playing as Amanda Ripley. Uh, Ripley was the engineer of the ship that encounter the original xenomorph which is the which are the aliens um and we are going on a recovery mission to try and recover some logs as you discovered from the intro upon the area where the ship went missing um a kind of craft that was sent away from the ship okay so uh this game i am very pumped for this game uh it's, it's said to be very good it's a mix of like stealth and horror along with sci-fi and honestly I think sci-fi... Okay, so this is our save game. 
Um, sci-fi horror is like the best horror genre out there, if done correctly. Um, yes. Uh, a good example of done correctly is the first Dead Space. A bad example of done correctly is the third Dead Space. Because that's one of the problems with, with sci-fi horror. Like, really, what scares people the most, in my opinion... Uh, is this where we're supposed to go? Okay. Uh, what scares people the most, in my opinion... Oh, okay, showering with our clothes on. Ah, da, 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 da. Okay. Where the hell am I supposed to go now? Okay, this is the toilet. Toilet's out of order. Um, are things that affect them... Okay, where the fuck are we supposed to- Oh, here we go. Let's get dressed! Oh, I wanted to see that part! Um, like, new frontiers scare people. So, like, the- the woods scare most American people because that's the, um... You know, like, that's where we went into the, during the West to change things up. Um, change things up. I just, I'm rambling. But basically, space is the, the last new frontier for us, and it's unexplored, and people have an innate fear of things that are new and different, and I think that uh, sci-fi horror can capture that, especially if you incorporate corporate negligence because in current modern days, people- can I run at all? People have a, a very large distrust of all things corporate. Hey, look at this, I got it. So, we, we don't trust the corporation anymore. Um, hey, what's up? Samuels. Yep, that's me. Hi, Samuels. Early? Did you well, wake up early? I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities. That's weird. A well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes. M ah, that's the name. Nostromo. Pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. It's Sorry, this is the... Again. I don't want to interrupt. She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. All right, go go find Taylor. So the Nostromo. The Nostromo was the ship that was um, encountered the original Xenomorphs. Uh, the Nostromo had a few engineers on it. Um, I can't remember. It's been a really long time. I uh, Duke and I are actually gonna. Mm. Duke and I are gonna binge binge watch those here pretty soon. Um, I'm guessing she's this way. Hello. Hey, how you doing, honey? You doing good? Taylor, good you look morning. good. Hi, Taylor. It's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. A negative Nancy, okay. I feel like death. Well, that's I hypersleep don't know how for you. you. People put up with hypersleep regularly. Nah, you, you get just used to it. practice. They don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. <laughs> I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo mm. cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Yeah, I was just about to think Realize that. your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? Is she intentionally He's not looking at me, or...? Hours. Okay. Um, so Samuels. I wonder why he doesn't need as much sleep All as us. He's probably cyborg? Is that a thing? Looks like an aliens? I think so. Um, okay, let's go to the bridge. Okay, come on, there's gotta be a way I can go faster. This is killing me walking around. This is one of the problems with games like... Games that spoil us with being able to run like super soldiers. And so now when you have to actually, you know, travel around like a normal human being... Oh, right, okay, sorry. Hello. Hello. She fucking... She's gonna... She's gonna say something or... I mean... Okay. You touch your foot, that's cool. Hi! Hi! Hope you all had a restful journey. <laughs> the Torrens is in very good Oh, order for oh, we were waiting for Samuel, okay. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sebastopol Station. But we don't- Yeah, I'm kinda curious. I believe your contact is Marshall Waits. Is wow, right? look at this. I'll hail Sebastopol this, I'm so excited for this game. Good. It's beautiful, this actually. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. This game is very and fluid. Connor, yeah. how are we doing? Routine. Never put calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Um. Uh, okay. Watch the approach on the monitors. Where the, these screens are? Those monitors. Here we go. Get in the chair, maybe. No. That's too. We're too good to get in the chair. Here we go. Get in the chair! 
Get in the chair! Okay, here we go. Collect the file. Alright. Here we go, perfect, another cutscene. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Yutani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshall? Mar Marshall, this is the Torrin. Say again. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Oh man, what I wouldn't give to go to space. Sorry, I, I had to say it. My god, Ripley. You're doing good, Tim. Oh shit! Wake up! Nice little nap we had there. We're aboard the space station that's currently in serious damage. Oh man. Things went to hell fast. Uh, no, I wouldn't take this off. I would definitely keep this on for a little bit. Um, you don't know what you're ahead. Why do they always take off the environmental suits? Okay, anyways, this seems like a good as note as any to end it. Does it. Is it just me or does it look like everybody in this, this movie or movie, ha, in this game is constantly like sweating. It's, I, maybe it's just me. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I am pumped for this game. I'm so, so excited. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, subscribe. Oh, trust me out. You guys, keep being good, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Hey guys, you have just watched an episode of Aliens Isolation. If you enjoyed this, then let us know by leaving a like, favorite, or subscribing to the channel, all of which will help us out. Please stick around, the next episode will be coming out soon. Thank you for all your support, you guys are the best.